Hi, I'm Phil Scopes. Welcome to Running Around SAC, where we show the difference between the Schmidt Academic Center then and now. As you can see, I'm standing out in front of the Schmidt Academic Center at DePaul University, and this side of it looks very much like it always did. But we're going to explore the building today, and we're going to show you how it's changed over the time since I've attended DePaul University back in uh, the fall of 88 to the spring of 1990. So let's uh, head inside and check it out. Over here we have uh, SAC 192. Now years ago, that was a computer lab. It was lined with old-fashioned computer terminals, half of which were broken. But now, it's a college office. Here we have DePaul Central. Now this side of the uh, first floor used to have a completely different purpose. Right now it's a college office that uh, is used to uh, transact college business, but it used to be a couple of classrooms. In fact, if we go over here to uh, the lockers, we can see that there's a gap in the way the lockers are laid out. And the reason for that is that the area within the two sections of wall here used to be a doorway to a classroom. So that's why there's that gap there, because there used to be a doorway and they couldn't lay the lockers out evenly, so uh, that's the way it turned out to have that gap there. So uh, there's also one over here. So there were actually two classrooms in uh, this area. In fact, I had uh, a couple of computer science classes, one in each classroom, so I remember this uh, section of SAC very well. Here we have the north end of SAC. And as you can see, there's a doorway leading out to a courtyard across from the Richardson Library. Back in the day, there was a wall here with pay phones on it. But since the Richardson Library was built and moved from the third and fourth floor of SAC, they opened up this area and uh, made a walkway. Now we're at the south end of SAC, and as you can see, there is a metal plate where a payphone used to be, and another one over here. It's really a sign of the times because uh, no one uses payphones anymore, so people that provide payphones wouldn't be making much money because everybody's gone cellular, so these plates are all that remains of a once thriving business. Now we are at the Kenmore side of SAC. Now this is the entranceway, and if we look over here, we have the Levan wing, and over here we have the O'Connell wing. Now, uh, at one time, the only way to get from one side of uh, the building to the other was to come through on the ground, but as you will see, they've done a lot of work in uh, the last several years to uh, connect everything for accessibility. In fact, uh, you can hardly see the uh, original SAC structure because it's obscured by uh, what they now call the bridge. So you have uh, a lot of connections over here. And the next thing we're going to do is go inside and uh, show uh, the connected areas. This is the middle of the uh, Schmidt Academic Center from the Kenmore side. And it used to be uh, more of an open area. In fact, there were windows on the Levan side, but now we have accessibility elevators which uh, go to the various floors in Levan. And the same thing over on the O'Connell side, we have elevators here. And then we have uh, the stairways that uh, go to O'Connell and Levan. Uh, these stairways are kind of bi-leveled. Uh, what happens is uh, 
the floors of Levan and O'Connell are actually uh, one half floor different from the floors in SAC. So when you go up a floor to uh, the uh, Levan classrooms, for example, you're actually only going up a half a floor. Or if you go down uh, this way, you're only going down a half a floor. And there used to be a door here, the way I remember it. And now uh, it's opened into the uh, lobby area. So uh, they've completely redesigned this whole uh, section here. But uh, there's a lot more to be seen as far as what's changed uh, to make LeVan and O'Connell more accessible. We are now on the third floor of the bridge between LeVan and O'Connell. And uh, we have the elevators over here. And uh, of course, those are the same elevators that we came up on from uh, the ground level. And what we'll do is we'll go to uh, LeVan room 301, which was a classroom that I had a computer programming class in back in 1988. And uh, so this was the original classroom, and it probably uh, doesn't look much different, but we can also see on the other side of uh, Levan that there are classrooms over here, too. Uh, I remember there being windows in uh, this side of Levan, but uh, they, in recent years, built it out to uh, accommodate more classrooms in uh, this building. Now, you'll also notice that there's a rather long hallway coming out of the Levan wing, and uh, that is because we can go all the way over in this direction, and we end up in O'Connell. I don't know what O'Connell's used for. I think they, they used to use it for chemistry, but uh, I think they might have changed purpose. I'm not familiar with that because I, I never uh, knew anything about O'Connell. I just know that it's connected. And uh, in the old days, you used to have to go all the way down to the first floor and then walk over, but now it's connected on all the upper floors. Now, there's another connection that was uh, added in recent years. If we go over in this direction, we can actually go down a new section, which uh, was obviously added for accessibility. Here's a staircase and a uh, handicap lift, and we can actually go down. And once we head down these stairs, we find ourselves on the second floor of SAC. This was uh, an area where I had fond memories. I remember uh, having uh, a couple of discrete math classes uh, in two of the classrooms. Actually, it's uh, over this way. There was uh, SAC 200 and SAC 294. 294 is down this hall and 200 is on the other side. And uh, I used to enjoy those math classes there. So uh, I always liked uh, the classes that I had in SAC and LeVan because my computer classes, that was my field. But uh, really, in, uh, in spite of all the uh, new connections that were added, nothing's really changed as far as the uh, SAC, original SAC portion of the building. But uh, they've added a lot of connections and changed a few rooms and uh, made it more accessible. So there you have it. That was Running Around SAC. I'm Phil Scopes.